All right, live. So home right now, uh, I got a sick kid. Nico is uh, fever all night. Um, my wife's at wound care. She uh, is home from uh, that case. Of, well, they're calling it cellulitis, but uh, necrotizing fasciitis is what it really looked like based on what I saw, and that's really fucked up. So pardon the French, but... Uh, pretty serious shit. And I don't, uh, I can't understate that. And, uh, you know, I I didn't plan on being home this morning. I can tell you that, um, you know, give her credit. She, uh, she can drive right now and she's gotten through, uh, this, um, this, uh, this hurdle roadblock obstacle. So good for her, man. That that's, that's balls. Um, Sick kid, Nico. I'm I'm home, and you know what I'm doing is I'm actually just taking some time to reflect on the last 12 months. I'm not the same person I was 12 months ago. I am completely not like. It's part of me that's the same. I can still be a douchebag at times, um, maybe a lot of times. Um, but and, and that's that's okay. That's probably never going to change because that's probably in my DNA and. Until they come up with uh, uh, something that can remove douchebag from your DNA, I'm going to have to live with that fact. Uh, but, you know, there's also some really good things that happened in the last year. I've come to, you know, I think finally have faced my alcohol issues, alcoholism, the fact I'm an alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic. You know, go to an AA meeting and, and, and uh, when people say their name, hi, Scott, alcoholic. Hi, Scott. Uh, it's, it's, it's humbling, but it's also real. And it's also something that um, I can't run from anymore. That it's not that I would drink every day. Like you know, these are these these uh, lies that I'd like to tell myself. Hey, you're uh, you know you're high functioning. Hey, you have a high floor. But the reality is, is that when you drink, for a lot of people, it's um, you make a lot of like really stupid decisions, and it doesn't have to be ten drinks, right? It can be three. And uh, I, I remember even some like social media posts I made after drinking and I try to defend them the next day saying, oh, I don't really care about that. But, um, I would feel pretty lousy about a lot of them. And so as I move into 2020, you know, it's been three weeks since I've had a drink, almost four weeks, almost a month, um, going on almost 30 days. And when you go to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, they give you like a 30 day chip and I'm excited to get that. Um, you know, there's, there's some things I need to work on personally, professionally. Um, I tend to be a little myopic sometimes, and I focus on the professional development stuff and, and forget about the personal stuff. Uh, but that's something I'm going to focus on. I have got a milestone with the, you know, an MRI coming up in December. But honestly, whatever the results of that, I don't care. I feel great. Um, I ran over 10 miles this weekend. Um, not a lot of people ran 10 miles in two days this weekend. Um, but if the guy with the brain tumor can, everyone can. So, you know, it's just, you know, as, as we all think like we, you know, I'm looking, I'm literally looking at a calendar right now and, and writing down like the next 90 days, like what's going to happen and stuff. And it's really, um, it's interesting to like take, take stock and take account. And it's not something that you have to wait till the end of the year to do like, you know, I try to do this weekly now. I didn't do it last year. I've set lofty goals for our business. You know, how many people we can help. Um, you know, how do I get there? How do we get the message out there? Uh, how do I be a better father, better person? I'm not always a great person. I mean, I got things that are inside of me that aren't pretty, you know, that I have to, you know, demons I have to grapple with and, and shit I got to deal with. So uh, anyway, so... I don't know, I just had a moment today where I'm like, you know, I'm not out on the, on the trails running this morning. I'm sitting in my kitchen uh, with the calendar in front of me and then uh, a, uh, a binder from, uh, from Warrior Week going through some of the notes and some of the reflections I've had over the last six months. And it's, it's, uh, it's good. It's good to take time and take stock of where you're at. And then, you know, you know if you're going to go on a journey, you need, to, um, you need to figure out what the hell you are. You go to Google and you say, hey, I want to go to, I want to, go to uh, Florida, but if you don't put the starting destination in it, you don't even know what direction to start going. So anyway, um, Monday reflections. Hope you guys are all going to have a great week. I do love Mondays. Uh, I still do, even though uh, this Monday gave me a curve. Um, everyone take care. Matt, Joel, and Nick, Brian, Tom, glad you guys are watching. Have a great week. Uh, make every second count. You don't know when it's your last. Boom! I'm out of here.